Hey guys, welcome back to the Dewan Moore Show. We're on some science. So remember, today's show is brought to you by Predator Juice. Now featuring 20% more Predator. 10 things to remember while watching the total solar eclipse. This story is from Travel Leisure by Jamie Carter. The age of totality. The sun is 400 times larger than the moon but it is also 400 times further away. So when the moon orbit takes it across the eclipse, the approaching path to the sun through the sky, it can fit across it exactly. It happens roughly every 18 months since the moon is drifting away from the earth at 3.8 centimeters every year. Such perfect solar solar eclipses will not always occur. So we're born lucky in an age of totality, but don't feel too blessed the moon will one day be too far away from Earth to totally eclipse the sun, but that will take 5,300,000, 5, 530, math, <laughs> 538 million years, math, the age of totality. When you watch a total solar eclipse, you're watching our corner of the solar system in perfect alignment. Right in front of your eyes is a celestial phenomenon called Sagis, and forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. It may be tricky to say, but it's not a difficult concept to understand. Sagis is when the Earth, Moon, and Sun line up, said NASA Ambassador Eddie Mahone, the director of Anatomy and host of Tour of Our Stars at the Hayat Regency Mai in Hawaii. Although there is no measurable gravitational effect, there is certainly an effect, inspirational, he said, that's because it's not just Earth, Moon, and Sun in lining up, it's you too. When you watch a total solar eclipse, you're, whoa, the temperature drops. Okay. You might think that the succession of sunlight for just a couple of minutes wouldn't make any difference to the ambient temperature, but as the last slivers of sunlight cease, the temperature drops by a few degrees. It won't send you into a shivering mess. This eclipse happens at the height of the summer, after all, but you will definitely notice it. It happens because a layer of the Earth's atmosphere, called the enosphere, that's produced by solar radiation weakens under the moon's shadow, which will race across the U.S. at 1,462 between and 2,955 miles per hour. The advantage, it can make stubborn clouds disappear in a second, which just might save the day. As many as 100 million people may watch the eclipse on August 21st, making it an era-defining event. Some of the prediction, the rebirth of respect for science in the U.S. Others, that is going to be more important than Woodstock. One thing is bound to do is fuel an interest in chasing solar eclipses around the world, which is so far something of a niche hobby. 12 million people across the U.S. will awake in the morning in the path of totality. As, aside from a 1999 eclipse that went through Europe, this is the highest concentration of people that have ever been touched by totality, said Aram Kalespium, international president of Travel Quest, who's seen over 20 total solar eclipses. This would be my second. Even if 1% of that 12 million find uh, even if my apologies even if one percent of the 12 million find a passion for eclipse chasing that will create a much larger audience the busiest place on the path it's fun to watch a total solar eclipse in a crowd and there will be some very, very busy events across the U.S. on August 21st. 
traffic could be terrible in some places, so wherever you find yourself, it will be likely busier elsewhere. GreatAmericanEclipse.com estimates that South Carolina will be the busiest place on August 21st, with 2 million people expected to travel down Interstate 95, which stretches from New England to Florida. The tiny village of Sanity, excuse me, is where I-95 hits the center line. Although you'll probably be too busy gawking at the solar cornea during totality, it will be possible to gaze at planets and stars during the day on August 21st. You hear that, Unc? So make sure you have your telescope ready. Most obviously during totality will be the bright planet Venus on the right of the sun and moon, though Jupiter may also be visible on the far left. Mars and Mercury... Marlene, make sure you're here, are also close to the eclipse, though they may be hard to see with the naked eye. We got a, we got a baller. Can't. We got a baller. We'll be alright over this way. Although you'll probably be too busy gawking at the solar cornea during totality, it will be possible to gaze. I just read that. Or did I? Settle down. I like using my phone way better than my laptop. Are you serious? Stop. Don't do not do me like this because I really don't want to stop the feed. What do you, what do you mean long running script? I, this is a problem. Sorry guys. One moment please. Um, yeah. Why I hate using my laptop. We, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. Stop, screw. Up. No, no joke is not responding. Oh, really? That's how you feel? Okay, okay, all right. I'm not fixing that in post. All right, here we go. Totality will be relatively short. Totality on August 21st will last for 2 minutes, 41 seconds. At the greatest point of duration, that occurs <coughs> near <laughs> Carbodale, Illinois, though most observers will get just over 2 minutes of totality, that actually not very much. A total solar eclipse can last a maximum of 7 minutes and 30 seconds. The longest total solar eclipse of the 21st century has already happened for 6 minutes and 39 seconds in Asia in 2009. But a mighty 6, se mighty six minutes 23 seconds of totality would occur on August 2nd, 2027. The Great North American Eclipse will cross the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens in and Luxor. Virtually identifying eclipses occurs every cycle, exactly 18 years, 10 days, 11 hours. So those that saw the total solar eclipse of 1999 in Europe will experience the same moon shadow on August 21st, 2017. And those that did are excited. It's a cool thing to know that you're participating in a really big cycle of the cosmos and that you're back to see the same member of the Cero series, said David Mark Peace, the Eclipse Guy, who has seen 22 eclipses. I don't affect the eclipse itself, but it gives you a sense of being connected to something much larger. He said, presenting the metaphor, physical rewards of apparition and an eclipse. I've never looked up at this guy during an eclipse and seen science. Interesting. Do it again in seven years? All the once in a lifetime talk was just that. It's actually the Great American Eclipse, plural. Another total solar eclipse will sleep across the U.S. on April 8, 2024. So mark your cameras. Cameras. Mark your calendars. While totality lasts over two minutes in 2017, it's over four minutes in seven years. But it's in April, so the chance of cl cl clear skies are less. It has a complete 
different paths starting in Mexico and finishing in Canada after busting through Texas. Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, oh, New York, and Vermont. Given that the last total solar eclipse in the U.S. was in 1979, that, well, then I guess I haven't, I've seen an eclipse, but, I mean, I, guess I wasn't in the path, whatever. This is something of a celestial jackpot, yes, we'll dab on that. So, uh, definitely mark your calendars. We will be doing a solar eclipse watch party in seven years on the Dewan Moore show. Mark it on your calendars. Be there, be square. The great South American eclipse is next. Come on. There we go. One more up. One, there we go. An eclipse over Argentina and the South Pacific, the Great South American Eclipse, is next. Amateur astronomers will love the fact that it goes over La Celia Observatory at the southern tip of Anacoma Desert. Astrologers and hippies will make their way hippies <laughs> will make their way to Chattagusa, the so-called magnetic center of the Earth in Chile. A clove valley to experience totality, and island collectors will watch it near the remote volcanic appellations of the Paracar Islands in the South Pacific, officially over the British overseas territories with a Brazier history. And hopefully, by that time, the Duan Moore show will be so well established that we will be having our watch party from one of these elected destinations but in this time this video has ran super long way longer than I do so with that being said you could have spent this valuable time with anywhere in the world but you chose to spend it here with me and for that I'm truly thankful um, where will you be during a solar eclipse leave it in the comment section below don't forget to like subscribe and share go science science rocks and have a great day I'll talk to you guys later bye